Hi guys, welcome to Film Companion South. I am Vishal Manan and in today's episode of Now Binging, I am going to be talking about the new Kannada thriller Binna that's out on Z5. Now this is the kind of film that's perfect for an OTT platform like Z5. Binna revolves around just four main characters and it also deals with very serious topics like postpartum depression and infidelity. So you can imagine all the problems the film would have faced had it tried for a more traditional kind of release. But beyond all this, it's also a film that demands your complete attention. So it really helps if you have a pause button and a rewind button just to make sure you are in tune with what's happening on screen. To begin with, the film uses a trope called the unreliable narrator, which means that you are never really sure if what's happening on screen is in fact really happening. The film opens to a shot of a woman holding a knife as we hear someone shout from outside asking her to stop. After she stabs herself, she's immediately rushed to the hospital and her husband is asked to admit her to a psychiatric facility. We then cut to a series of talking heads where the film's three other main characters explain their complex web of infidelity which led the girl to this point. But things start getting complicated right from the very next scene because we're never really sure if we're watching a flashback to explain how things got to this point or if we've moved ahead in time in linear fashion. The protagonist Kaveri, we are told, is a solo traveller and we see her ride far away from Bangalore to a small homestay somewhere else. We are also told that she is an actor, so she brings along a script which she will read in her spare time there. What makes things even more interesting is how she is described to be a method actor. So we are never really sure if the things are actually happening or if they are just a part of the script that she is reading. If Kaveri is what we think her actual name is, we also get a red sari wearing alter ego named Devaki thrown into this mix. Things get even more complicated when Kaveri slash Devaki land up at a dinner which involves the three other people who form this intense mess of infidelity. Clues are thrown around everywhere to help us understand what led Kaveri to this point including a red teddy bear which denotes something that happened in her childhood. We also get several shots of Kaveri and her reflection especially in places like mirrors, windows, photo frames and even the glass door of a microwave. This is done deliberately because we are never really sure who we are looking at. Devaki or Kaveri. Talking more about this film would mean tiptoeing around the film's many spoilers. This is a puzzle of a film that really plays out like a Rubik's Cube. Just when you see one side is sorted, you turn it around and you notice that the whole other side is a big mess. Binna is also an extremely clever reimagination of an old Kannada classic called Shara Panjara and it even borrows the names of the leads. A picture of a woman entrapped in a birdcage is also used as a constant motif to remind us of the source text. Of course, the film could have been a little better if it had a slightly bigger budget and of course some better performances. The film could have also avoided the extremely explicitly last 5 minutes where it's basically the director making sure the audience understood what he was trying. But either ways, it's still a fascinating film that offers a lot and you can easily check it out at a running time of just one and a half hours. So that's it for this week's episode of Now Binging. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to Film Companion South.